Welcome back. Now, as promised, the dancing scientist from UCLA, a.k.a. Jeffrey Vinegar, is here to dazzle us right now in the Daily Planet studio with his scientific wizardry. And get ready for this, because you're about to see some liquids that you should not drink. Okay, I'm sure you've tried to make forts out of snow, you've made them out of pillows, but have you ever made them out of liquid? Well, today we are here with Jeffrey Vinicor. He's the dancing scientist from UCLA. And Jeffrey, you've got some uh, iced tea here. What's going on? I do. So have you ever made lemonade, for example, and had a lemonade stand? Yes, I have, with my entrepreneurial spirit. Nice. So when you make a lemonade or iced tea, you kind of put sugar and water, and you mix it up, and it dissolves, and you can keep adding more and more. But right. there kind of comes that point where you just can't get any more to dissolve. Yes, because it tastes that's, gross. <laughs> that's, I think it tastes the best in that case. But basically, scientists call that a saturated liquid. It's holding as much solid as it possibly can. So this would taste good if we added a lot in here, but I got something cooler. Okay. This liquid is really sensitive, and it's a super saturated liquid. That means it's holding more solid than it should be right now. You can kind of think of a person carrying a lot of boxes, you know, a really big tower, and they're kind of handling it, but if you add one more box or if they knock into something, it all falls down, kind of. Gotcha. Crashed. Okay. So that's exactly what can happen here. I just have these crystals, and if I were to add. What are these crystals first? This is a salt called sodium acetate. Okay. And you can actually make it from baking soda. Sodium and acetate, and what's in here? That's just water and sodium acetate that I dissolved earlier. And so if I just take like one little crystal and drop it in there. Okay. Check. It's out crystallizing what's very happening. quickly. Oh my goodness, it almost looks like an iceberg is forming in it's there. It's spreading out and it'll soon fill the entire thing. Why don't you hold that and feel it and tell me what you feel? Well, it seems to be warming up a little bit, it is. huh? This is actually one of the methods they use to make hand warmers, okay. the kind that you can warm up and, and reuse. So, that so this is just all the energy coming out as heat right now. Right, crystallization releases heat. It's exothermic, as scientists call it. You can and see the steam in there, you guys, huh? Okay, wow, so this is a solid yeah, now, just like actually, that. You know, move it around and it's, it's solid. Wow. That was a super saturated liquid. Okay, but we, I want to get to the making forts. Totally, all right. <laughs> I have a lot more here, as you can see. And okay. so if we take these crystals and sprinkle them on the table, okay. like this, we can make forts or castles using the liquid. So why don't you grab one right okay. over there, throw on our safety goggles. Goggles, goggles, safety first, safety first. And by pouring the sat super saturated liquid on the seed crystals, we can try to make uh -huh. towers. I'll try to demonstrate for you here. Oh, look at that. That's wonderful. Go ahead, give yours a try. Okay. I'm gonna... You gotta pour it slowly and we can build a tower. And don't forget, we're trying to make a fort or a castle. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, oh no, look, I, oh, I jimmy jammed it. it oh, I touched it. Go ahead and gra grab another one. So is this similar to how a, a stalagmite forms in a way? Um, in, a, in a sense, but this is actually more similar to the way rain forms. Rain, where water vapor in the, in the sky, it needs something to start forming a droplet. Okay. And that's usually dust that's in the sky and also uh, little clay particles that are naturally in the air. So in this instance then, what is it that triggers the crystallization? It's a little seed crystal which kind of provides the surface and the structure for all the other crystals to start forming around. It's kind of a uh, repeating pattern. That's what a, what a crystal is kind of defined as. And so it provides that um, initial structure that all the other crystals form on. You'll uh, have to forgive me. I'm clearly not very proficient at fort this building is, in, uh, this seems in not liquid to be form just yet. A but fort. What do you think this looks like? I don't know. I'm not too sure exactly. I'm just trying to create some sort of level or some I'm sort of build, barrier build as it is. As high as I can so we can protect the fort. Okay, I'm going to build on top of yours to see how okay, high we can make it. I'll move over here That's and fun. try to fill in this area. This is so much fun. So why isn't this damaging the surface of the table here? Well, basically it's just got water and sodium acetate. Sodium acetate is a safe chemical. You can actually make this at home if you wanted to with parental supervision. By mixing baking soda and vinegar, you can make this salt. Okay. But the challenge is it has to be really pure because if it's not pure or you get a little piece of dust in it, this happens. That's exactly so what happens. Look how tall that is. That it is might fall over. Oh, oh. fantastic. Thank you so very much, Not Jeffrey. quite a castle, but still pretty good. <laughs> hey, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to get good. better, I promise. Thanks so much. Of course. All right, so it's time for today's Digital Dose. Now, we all know that Apple's making a really big product announcement tomorrow regarding its iPhone 5. Now, the first thing I want to bring up is the fact that uh, an eagle-eyed Apple fan